Hey everyone, it's Will with Sonduck Creative showing you an easy way to make your pictures look like holograms in Photoshop. To start, you're going to need to make sure your subject is all on its own. I did it pretty easily with my object selection tool, but you can use whatever method works best for you. Also, make sure it's a smart object before you begin. Now make a new layer behind the subject and go to Edit, Fill, and make it white. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and under Sketch, select Halftone Patterns. Set the pattern types to lines, drag the contrast all the way up, and the size is going to vary, but I'd say put it somewhere between 1 and 3. Hit OK, and now hide your subject for a second. Go to Channel, and while holding Command or Control, click on the thumbnail for the red channel. It's going to give you this selection, which is um, really hard to look at, but we need it, so go back to your layers and hit this button to add a layer mask, and then set the blending mode to soft light. As you may be able to guess, these are going to be your background lines. Also make sure to label your layers and you'll appreciate it in the long run, I promise. Duplicate your lines and bring it above your subject. Command or Control click your subject to make a selection. Hit M for your marquee tool, right click and hit select inverse. Now hit delete to get rid of what's not directly on top of your subject. Now we have our subject lines as well. Set the fill of your subject lines to 85 and the fill of your background lines to 35. Now for the color. We're going to add three effects to our subject. Double click your subject layer to bring up the layer styles window and hit inner glow for the first effect. Set the blending mode to screen, opacity to about 40 and noise really low. For the color I went with the sky blue just to give it that kind of sci-fi hologram look. Next go to color overlay. Set the blending mode to overlay and the color to about the same one as before. You can write down the code for it if you want but it really doesn't have to be exact. Set the opacity to 25. The last effect is going to be Outer Glow. Again make the blending mode screen, the opacity to 40, the noise really low again, and the color to just a little bit lighter than the other ones. Set the spread to 5 and the size to 80 and hit OK. Set the opacity of your subject to 90% and you're done with the effects. To wrap it up we're going to add some little particle effects. Command Control click on your background lines. Make a new layer and make another layer mask. Make sure it's above your subject and then get your brush tool and a nice blue color. We're going to start with a good splatter brush set to small size and make sure the airbrush is turned off and now in clicks and quick bursts just make these little dots around your subject. Just try to be subtle and just add a touch of detail. Now I like to add a few big lines as well so I'm going to choose a hard brush and pinch it like this just to make it super thin. Now all around the subject I'm going to click and hold shift to make these nice clean lines. Make sure they're different lengths so they seem a bit more random and this part takes as much effort as you want to put in. You can put just a couple or you can put them all over or you don't even really have to do this unless you like the way it looks. And that's all for holograms. Of course we could take this even further and add some more details so if that's something you're interested in let us know. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.